Fawick Room 11, the hydraulics lab, contains the equipment to demonstrate fluid dynamic principles in pressurized pipe and free surface flow conditions. It supports CE3301, the laboratory course supporting the lecture course 3303, Engineering Hydraulics. The objective of these two courses is to teach and demonstrate the fundamental principles and design of water supply, stormwater, and sanitary sewer systems. Lab procedures allow students to evaluate real-world design concepts in hydraulic engineering by applying the fundamental equations of energy, momentum, and continuity. In each lab, students participate in hands-on physical experimentation using a different apparatus. The students document, graph, and analyze the experimental data and interpret the results in an engineering lab report. The central piece of equipment for each experiment is the hydraulic bench. There are two of these benches in the lab. Each bench contains a manometer, an internal reservoir of water, and a submersible centrifugal pump. The benches can produce flows up to a rate of approximately 1.5 liters per second. Students measure volumetric flow rates using the manometer and stopwatches. In each lab, a different apparatus is attached to a hydraulic bench to analyze specific hydraulic principles. These attachments include the Bernoulli apparatus, which demonstrates the inverse relationship between pressure and velocity in pressurized pipe flow. A pipe network, which demonstrates losses in pressurized pipe in series and in parallel, it also demonstrates the impact of pipe diameters on energy loss. A bend loss device, which demonstrates minor losses around bends, as well as losses through expansion and contractions. A much larger pipe network, which demonstrates losses around bends, losses based on pipe diameters, losses based on the pipe material, and losses through valves, venturi tubes, losses through an orifice, and losses through expansions and contractions. An external centrifugal pump, which demonstrates the pump performance characteristics, this external pump, when used in combination with a pump inside a hydraulic bench, demonstrates pump hydraulics when operating in parallel and in series. A cavitation device that demonstrates the vaporization of water due to high velocities and low pressure conditions. A Pelton turbine demonstrates the conversion of linear momentum into angular momentum, and a linear momentum apparatus that demonstrates the impact of a jet of water on a flat and curved plate. A six-foot tilting flume demonstrates the effect of slope on open channel flow, allowing students to observe supercritical and subcritical flow conditions and observe gradually varied flow profiles in steep sloped and mild slope conditions. A horizontal flume is used to demonstrate several important open channel hydraulic principles, including specific energy, critical flow conditions, hydraulic choke points, and conversion of momentum through a hydraulic jump. This flume is also used for the student-developed lab to evaluate flow over sharp-crested and broad-crested weirs, a velocity meter that can be used to measure velocities in streams. The hydraulics lab is also home to the surveying equipment used in CEE 2001. The main equipment utilized by the students include Topcon ATG2 auto levels, Topcon ES105 total stations, Topcon Hyper SRG NSS rovers, and Topcon Tesla data collectors loaded with Topcon magnet field software. Additional surveying equipment and supplies including rods, prisms, tripods, fiberglass tapes, folding rules, flagging, hubs, and lathe are available for students to use. We hope to see you on campus soon to tour our hydraulics lab in person. Click on these video tours of some of our other labs in the Civil Engineering Department.